What's up guys, this is Retro Productions here and today we're going to do a video on how to get Pico 8 running on the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus or any other Android device that's been out for a couple of years. So yeah guys, we're going to get straight to business but before we dig into the tutorial, I just want to show you some gameplay on the, on the Pico 8 and specifically what core I'm using. So the core is called Pico 8 Fake 08 as you can see. Let's jump into some gaming. Um, I haven't created favorites here, so let's just find a game to show you guys how it works. We're gonna try Alien Harvest. So, you guys, here it is. I don't know what to do in this game. Find the eggs. So yeah guys, full D-pad support as you can see. And full analog support. So I just want to show you guys that it works. Also save states. Look, I'm going to go here. Press the save state option. Saved. And move here. And I'm going to load the state. And there we go guys. Works perfectly. Done. So that guys is Pico 8, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want guys is RetroArch. Now, there are many builds of RetroArch. For this video and for this purpose of Pico 8, I recommend the RetroArch 32-bit build. So I'll show you exactly. Oops, sorry guys. I'm just going to use my virtual mouse to make the tutorial easier for me. Because this screen on this is literally garbage. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Okay guys, so I recommend any browser. For this case, I'll use Firefox. You can use any other build. And so here are the builds for RetroArch. I'll put the link in the description so you can easily jump in to get these builds. But yeah, this is the web address. And there are three options for RetroArch. For the one for Pico 8, the one that I use is RetroArch underscore R832.apk. So get that downloaded, guys. It should not take long. It's around 200 megabytes. Get that downloaded. And once that's downloaded, try to get it set up. Now the tutorial I would recommend is uh, Retro Game Corp. I was, I'm sure you've heard of him, guys. Yeah. Follow his tutorial. It's basically Retro Pocket 2 Plus Guide. And he talks about Retro Arc in the video. I recommend that tutorial. It should not take too long to get it set up. About 5-10 minutes, guys. If you want me to make a tutorial on Retro Arc as well, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. So guys, get that sorted. Download Retro Arc the tier 2 bit build and here it is as you can see I have it here so once that's all sorted up excuse me guys <coughs> go back to your browser and go to this URL now it's in the description again I put this in the description <coughs> to make it easy for you guys but this is where you're going to get the Pico 8 core that will work with save states and that is very works fantastically on this device so guys this is it J to the bell, fake 08. So what you want to do is go into the release section, which is here, as you can see guys. And then you don't want to pick the latest build guys. So here is the latest build, sound and text improvements. You don't want this build. This build is very buggy and it crashes and it's unreliable. Don't pick it. You want to pick the second build underneath it. It's called Bug Fixes and Initial Lib Retro Core. This is the build you want guys. So go to the Assets section as you can see Assets and pick Android Lib Retro. Get that downloaded. So guys get this downloaded. Shouldn't take should take literally one second. So once it's, down, once it's downloaded go to of any file explorer that you have on your Retroid. I use Solid Explorer. It's fantastic guys. Make sure it's downloaded. As you can see, it's downloaded. Let me go to my Solid Explorer, as you can see. And here it is, android-libretro.zip. Extract it. Now I just tap this and tap Extract. And it's done. So here's the folder, guys, that's extracted. Android Libretro. Tap it. 
So this is one file you'll need, it's called fake or a libretro.info. It's a very important file guys. This is what allows the save state to work. If you don't copy this file correctly, then your save states won't work. And there's also another file in here called libs. Now there's two files here. I want you guys to ignore this bottom file called arm64. Ignore it, it's unimportant. Uh, I'll just delete it guys, so to avoid confusion. There guys, it's gone. You don't need it. Because you're using the 32-bit build of Pico 8, the core. I've heard it's more reliable than the 64-bit build, so I'm just going to stick with this one. So here it is. So you need this file and this fake, fake or 8 libra, libra retro info file for the save states and the actual core itself. Okay, guys. So the last, well, the next part is to copy this name here, fake08 underscore libretro, copy the name, and going back into this folder and paste the name. So it replaces this whole name up to the dot. So you leave so, but you replace everything before it. Let me do it for you so you can see. Copy. Go into the libs folder. And then paste this name. But of course, you want the button to be kept to so, not info. So make sure you put it back to so. As you can see, guys, this keyboard is absolute garbage. It's not really the keyboard, it's the screen. It's all broken, so I'm going to use my mouse. Excuse me for that, guys. There. So make sure the name is fake08 underscore libretro.so. Done. So, yeah, guys, this is one step that's so important. You cannot mess this up. There's no other people on YouTube or the internet that would actually find this out, honestly, guys. There was one guy on the Discord forum on the Retroid that helped me out so much with this, and I thank him. I don't know his name, but he helped me out. He told me to change the name. So make sure, guys, this name and this name, they both, uh, they make sure they're both the same. As you can see, guys, it's identical except for the end part. Make sure that's kept. Leave this file alone. It's fake08 underscore libretro.info. And then this one is fake08 underscore libretro.so. Okay, guys. So after this, what you want to do is just uh, just drag this file. You can cut it or copy it. It doesn't matter. Paste it here so they both together. Just making it easier for you guys. You can delete this folder. Libs. So yeah guys, these two folders, files are left. So let's go back to the GitHub page. I just want to show you one section guys, where it tells you what to do. It should help you a bit. Okay guys, so from here. Lib Retro cores are still in early development but should be working. Installation can be tricky, however. In general, you'll need to install the core via load core, install or restore core, navigate to the core file location, and also drop the fake08 underscore libretro.info into the retroarch cores directory. So guys, make sure that the one with the info at the end, dot info file, make sure that's in the retroarch core directory. Now, obviously, if you use, like, for example, Solid Explorer, this file, this file explorer it won't let you go into the retro arc core directory because that's a hidden place you will need root access to normally get to that but guys there is a way to get it now the way i originally did it was via a root a script file with the help of the folks at the retro the retroid forum it was one of the forums on the discord that helped me out we we done it via the scripts but in this case, it's actually an easier way. You don't need root. You don't need any scripts, guys. Don't worry. This is going to be as simple as pi. So you want, you'll want to use the the files for uh, app. It's very useful, guys. This files app. You'll want it because we are this file, this app. As you can see, you can gain access to the actual hidden files via RetroArch. As you can see, guys, here you want to pick. Get, go into the files app and pick the retroarch32bit. 
so here's all the files guys and here's the course folder what you want to do is drag that that dot info file drop it into here guys as you can see I already have it here as you can see if I go to oh they don't let me check the name But yeah guys, you just drop it into here. I'll show you how to do it. Just go into this file. Sorry guys for the camera jumping all over the place. Go into your downloads, wherever you have the folder. Go to Android Lib Retro. Find the, the .info file, which is this one. Just highlight it. And then click the three dots at the end. Press copy or move your choice. Copy to then go into the retro arc 32 bit, go into cause and copy. Press copy as you can see, guys. It's a bit quality isn't the best, but press copy. So once that's done, then all you gotta do is install the core. So go into your retro arc. Let me just disable the mouse. There we go. Go into your retro arc 32 bit. Then go into load core, load core, go to install or restore a core. Now click that, click A, and then click A again. And go into downloads, go to Android Lib Retro, and press that, go down, press A. So, guys, after that, you should be good to go. After that, all you can do is all you do is press load core, Pico A. And you're in the core. Now this final step is basically getting your list of games here. As you can see, I have quite a lot of games. I'm not going to show you guys exactly where to get these games, but if you do some research, I'm sure you'll find something. So guys, the way to do this is very easy because you're going to make sure you go to the import content section, go to manual scan, pick your directory where your games are located in my case it's on the SD card I'll show you that as well here games Pico 8 and press scan this directory so then you go to leave system name don't touch that custom system name write Pico 8 let me go a bit back guys Make sure it's spelled exactly the way I'm just showing you. Let me focus this, guys. Oh my gosh, this camera is terrible. Okay, guys. Pico and the dash. Eight, like that, guys. And press enter there it is pick the core default core pick the one pico 8 fake 08 file extensions write it p8 space this is a space guys this section here this empty space at the bottom next to the m press it then write p n g now this will basically load all those ROMs and all those games because this is the extension done then guys go all the way down and press dot scan that should uh, add all your games here but make sure your core is loaded guys when you load the game don't forget to press load core and this otherwise the games will load but they won't be able to do anything with it and that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed and hope you understood this tutorial if i missed something like if i didn't explain anything very well or any section you're confused on let me know because i did i am speaking a bit fast guys excuse me for that i'm waiting on my delivery for my fire 10 tablet which is coming soon today so i'm just quite excited and a bit anxious to not miss it but yeah guys another game i'll try let's just try 
There's a lot of choice, guys. A lot of choice. Arrow run. Okay, this is strange. It's just frozen, guys. I don't know what's going on. This never freezes. This is this is actually really strange, guys. I'm confused now. Let me just take everything off. This is strange. What I'm actually confused, guys. What's going on here? It's not recognizing it for some reason. Don't know if I done something wrong. But yeah, guys, that was weird. I don't know why that happened. Just know, guys. Some run, some games where they won't work for some reason. This remember, this is a initial build so not every game is gonna work fantastically not every game is gonna work and it sucks but you know this game's pretty cool actually add to favorites but yeah guys not every game is gonna work that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Majority should work though, guys. I'll say about 80 to 85 percent should work. I don't know what to do in this game, honestly. What kind of game is this? There's some weird games on this guys, honestly. Pico 8 is a weird system. Oh my gosh, these games are so weird. See guys, this is an example. If you load a game without loading the core properly, you'll get something like this coming up. I'll show you another example. So this is without the core loaded, just pick any game and you'll get a screen like this. So make sure guys the core is loaded. Just know that not every game is going to work. <coughs> Well, this game is pretty cool actually, it's like a first person game. So it's pretty cool. But yeah guys, we'll just try a couple more games. Bicycle race. Oops. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to get Pico 8 up and running on the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. Bye bye.